Gary back in the building. What's going on, man? I'm just out here rolling, doing what we do. Where where you at, though? Uh, I just went through Mansfield, Ohio, heading. I got a three stop. It uh, ends out in Baltimore. Oh, okay, uh, okay. So you in the, so you in the Baltimore. So you you going what ninety? Um, uh, well, I cut across seventy. I'm going across through Akron to the toll road over by Pittsburgh and shoot oh, okay. the bottom side 70, there. 76. Yeah. 76. Yep. Yeah, yeah, run seventy six. Exactly. Down, I got, so, you, yeah. You in my back you in my backyard, bro. Okay, well where you at? Let's get the barbecue going, man. Nah man, nah man. I'm all the way down here in Florida, my G. I, I just oh, I, I, I just passed oh. I, I just passed the Florida line maybe about 30, 45 minutes ago. Yeah, man, like bring me back some oranges. Make some screwdrivers. Well, you know, my, my, my fleet man my fleet manager threw a curveball at me. He goes, uh I, the the load that I got ain't ain't supposed to be dropped until Wednesday, but uh, he hit me. He 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 figured since I got down to Georgia today, he figured that he was like, look, I I, I got you a, I I got you a new appointment time, and I'm going like, uh, what time? He said tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. I was like, bro, I was trying to at least. Spend a, a little bit of time down here, man. What's up? Like, come on. I was trying to. I, I was. Try, yeah, I was trying to get. You know, since it didn't. Since it didn't. Since it wasn't dropped until Wednesday, I was going to get down here and at least spend at least a little bit. But he was like, "No, nah, your your load drops tomorrow." I was like, "Bro, come on." But yeah, man, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, my man, you uh, you you know, we had a. Great you know, the quite a few calls, the recruitment, which they were really happy with. That's so, what's yeah, up. That's what's up. Much. I'm glad. I'm glad it worked. I'm glad it worked out for you, and it's and it's continue to work out for you. Yeah. But now we, uh, you, you sort of mentioned that you, uh, that, that, that I might have a little felony record. Yeah, that you might, you know, <laughs> that you came from a background of a uh, of skirmish, man. So, so talk, uh, to, so yeah. talk to us, man. What, uh, what, uh, what happened in what yeah. happened in your lifetime, bro? Oh well, you know, I mean, was in the service. I uh, got out and uh, you know started roaming around, and you know I was always a pothead in high school and everything. And one thing led to another. It was kind of back when the it was called freebase back then, and mm -hmm. got involved with that, and then you know held jobs. I had a really good job, and uh, was making weight. You know. That's, that's the downfall of when you're an addict and you make too much money, you know, you can afford the things. And I uh, just got rolled up in the crack situation and, uh, you know, it now, kind of spiraled from there. Now, this is back, what, in the 80s or something like that? Uh, this would have been 94. Oh, okay. So this, all right, so 93, this is 93, part of 93, early part of 94. All right, so this so, is this is during the Clinton era. Yeah, yeah, where they were, you know, mandatory minimums. I mean, they were breaking people off serious for a handful of, you know, you could have a handful of powder or a bag full of powder and a handful of rock, and they would give you a life sentence for the rock. Mm. They'd give you two years for the powder. Damn so man. back then, yeah, I mean, there were a lot of brothers up in there, man. So you know, would you? Well, you know, <laughs> I kind of got hooked up with another guy. I'm not going to mention his name because he's a total POF. Right. Uh, but uh, but uh, just got hooked up with someone who wasn't afraid to pull a pistol. And, you know, I was a great driver. And, you know, we kind of got hooked up and went all a little Bonnie and Clyde spree across, you know, several states. And mm -hmm. ended up with about 28 different felonies. So, wow. you know. And Run, running that, got, running that good, good across the states, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so wait, so a, what? Wait, 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 wait. What? What happened, man? Like what? What? I mean, what? The car, the 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 ignition went out. The 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 headlight was busted out, man. How did y'all get caught, bro? Uh, well, the POS, you know, 
decided uh, he needed to take a car down uh, the. We were in New Orleans, okay. you know. Okay. You know, where else? Where else are you gonna go when you got a handful of money? Uh, but we were. I mean, there was no destination. We were just popping stuff off, and uh, he went down to buy, you know, store. You know, here's a white white boy parked in a Mazda RX, my my, my Mazda RX seven, mm-hmm. parked in the hood, and the cops walk walk up on him, and you know, full pistol. You know, he pulled a pistol. They shot him through the door. Find, you know, they search the car, find my name, and they find a hotel key card. And I'm up in the hotel, 44th floor, on Canal Street. Uh-huh. You know, there's a knock at the door when there shouldn't have been nobody knocking at the door. Right. And uh, and uh, so I look out the door, and sure enough, there ain't nothing but brass badges on the other side. Wow. And I said, look, I said, I'm going to open the door. I'm going right to the floor. As soon as they heard that door and they, uh, took you oh, in. Yeah, they, 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 didn't, they didn't care that I was already on the floor. You know? Man, uh, yeah, so they, your so so yeah. so your so your boy, you know, the your 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 trusted confidant went down in yeah. the hood and went down in the hood to do some stupid shit and it just it 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 all watered down to you. Oh man, I mean we were man, we were all over the news. Yeah, wow. I mean, they were looking for us tough, you know, I mean, you know, Man. they were looking for us real hard. I mean, they were after us. I mean, we were, one One of the officers told me that one of the places we popped off, they were sitting right next door waiting for us, mm-hmm. but they didn't know, they said, they, they said, where'd they go? We disappeared, right. you know, and that's just, I mean, we were just pressing our luck. I mean, you know, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, uh, he was he would have shot someone to where I, he was all, you know, if a cop would have walked on bones, he would have shot him. I'm, I'm not that guy. You know, I, that's not in me. So, but it, what it boils down to is, you know, that dope, man, he'll tell you everything's going to be all right. You know, you got a pile of money, you got a pile of dope, you don't care about anything else. You'll be all right, you know. Was um, you able, was, and, was you able, well, obviously you still serve some time, but. Oh yeah! Did you I, I, did, I did, you, uh, did you get the did did you get the the high priced lawyer? And if so, what uh, was what was what was the uh, uh, what yeah. was the negotiation uh, between the quote unquote high priced lawyer <laughs> and and the uh, and the prosecutor? Well, the high priced lawyer was a public defender out of Shreveport, of Louisiana. Wow! His name was uh, uh, you know when I went to the uh, initial arraignment. Uh-huh. He, uh, judge looked down at the charges. He looked back up at me. It was kind of when video, you know, video court was kind of taken off. And he started reading charges. Uh-huh. And he finally stopped. And he goes, your bail's a million dollars. I said, oh, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and uh, I turned around. And, you know, here's this, you know, I look, you know, I'm coming off a three-week bender. You know, and all these people behind me, you know, the guy just listed multiple, multiple, multiple armed robberies, and I turn around and all these people's mouths or eyes are wide open, and all the other kind of like, what the hell do you do, white boy? You know? And, uh, so, yeah, it was quite the eye-opener, and, you know, my my lawyer comes to me and goes, well, we should probably get that bail knocked down to 500000 I go, and go where? I'm in Louisiana. I live in Indiana. Where am I going to go? Exactly. You know? So, you know, my family didn't have that kind of money. You know, I, I sat it out. I, you know, so you, you got know, I so, knew right from wrong. So, what was what out of all the charges? Uh, what what was you actually charged with, and how long was the bid? And where and where did you do the bid at? In Louisiana? No. Well, they came to me. You know, my lawyer says, "Do you want to do state time or you want to do federal time?" Well, a Yankee. Isn't going to do well down in Huntsville, New or you know down in New Orleans or mm-hmm. Louisiana State Prison. Mm-hmm. Louisiana State Prison pays you two cents an hour, and you got to pay that to live there because and you can't claim indigency. So you're basically they're working your ass off for nothing, you know. And me being from Indiana, even the judge said, if I ever see you in my courtroom again, you will never see another state. So I took you know, I mean. Fifteen years later, I'm driving to New Orleans. Like, 
holding the wheel tight, using the turn signal. I see nothing. So you, you did. Know, I took that so, man serious. I took so wait, that man serious. So wait, so wait, you, you, you did your bid in Louisiana? No, no, no. I got federal time. Oh, you, got, oh, you, know, you took said, federal. Where, yeah, where, where I, did you do the yeah, where, where did you do the federal uh, time I, at? Well, I started out in USP uh, Terre Haute. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember that day clearly. Rolling up in the bus, it's like, you know, this is it. Got to do it. You know, this is it. Right. And walked in and, you know, and uh, the guy, well, Gotti's number two guy was on my block. And uh, there's a book going around about Hell's Kitchen, Tommy Callahan. I'm like, this is a bad, badass little dude, man. And all, mm -hmm. all the other people, we well, sit right next to him watching TV every day. Mm -hmm. You know? And he made 128 people disappear. You know, I mean, yeah, it was, the penitentiary was a little bit out there, you know. Uh, spent about a year there, and in the feds, they dropped your security level, you know, after so long. And then they sent me to uh, Manchester, Kentucky, did a year there. Then they opened Beckley, West Virginia, and they took about four busloads from Manchester to populate Beckley. Did a few years there. Then went, uh, I was at Terre Haute, uh, mm -hmm. Manchester, Kentucky, mm -hmm. uh, Beckley, West Virginia, then Pekin, Illinois, then I finished up. Well, 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 the, the feds, the feds, it don't really, you can rob one or a hundred. The mm -hmm. feds are going to give you five years for the bank, mandatory for the bank, and five years for the gun. So that was ten years, and then they go back into your, you know, personal history, your prior history. And do, you know, they interview, they knew shit that I did when I was 17. It's wow. like in this, you know, you know, they call a pre-sentence report and they go mm -hmm. through it. They go through your whole life and call every damn employer you ever had. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of a, you know, disheartening thing to look at your life like that. But, uh, yeah, um, so, it, you know, I accepted it. So I accepted, the, you know. So I, how... So how was it, bro? Was I mean because you know I, I never experienced uh you know prison. I I experienced jail, and I I knew yeah. I, I knew right then and there that I did not want to be in there. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. but but uh, ten, well, you know, I mean, ten years. I did a flat ten. I had a what was one hundred forty four months, but with you know federal good time, you get like a. 54 days a year, so I got, you know, whatever it was off for 10 years. Mm -hmm. worked, worked, worked out to about a flat 10. And, but, you know, the feds are, isn't state prison that you see shit just going plumb ass crazy. You know, the, the, the penitentiary was, you know, I seen some stuff kick off there, drove it straight through his neck, and it came out his waist and went straight through his heart. You know, I wow. mean, dropped him right there. You know, and there was an old man. He was watching, you know, you just never know what's going through somebody's head. This old man sat there watching his grandson play college football. Some young buck comes in, turns it on video, and the old man goes, hey, that's my grandson. He goes, don't worry about it, old man. He'll be there next game. Old man didn't say a word. Walked out, walked out his head, threw his cell, come back, with shank, shut the dude right in the neck. Shut down, turn the TV back on. You know, I mean, that's just the, you know, that's shit can happen. Most convicts or prisoners are real polite if you bump into somebody. Else. Sorry about that, man. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. You know. I mean, it's just you got to be that way. You just don't know what's going through somebody's head every day. How how was and, how uh, was it on your uh, how was it now from you know you know from watching TV and all like that you know hard you know hard time guys usually say you only do. You you only do two days the 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 time you come in and the time you leave right so when you first step through the door and you know they 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 put you in that very first day yeah. when did the, and that night when did everything hit you like what what happened on the first day with you well like I said when I was rolling up in the bus I was just kind of like. The reality of it is, mm -hmm. this is going to be my home, and I've got to accept it. And uh, that night when they closed the door, my bunkie says, okay, it's time to play house. He goes, uh, what do you want to be, the husband and wife? Hey, whoa, 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 and whoa, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. This actually coming out of a joke. dude's it's mouth? Yeah, yeah, man. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Huh? This, this man 
tells you at night when lights out, asking you, yeah. do you want to be the husband or do you want to be the wife? Hey, which one would you pick? Uh, I wouldn't have picked shit. Like, yo, bro, you, <laughs> you stay right there. And I'll say which <laughs> no which bunk do you want? Do you want the top bunk or you want the bottom bunk? Because we ain't playing no fucking house over here, bro. <laughs> wow, it's a joke, bro. Oh. oh, it's a joke. Oh, you, you oh, oh, okay, I, that's what I'm about say, to say. You know, re- no, no, you, you, you know you play you uh, play the bravado. Well, I'll be the husband, and, and he goes, uh, uh, "All right, come over here." And- Fuck your wife. No, no, no. We we ain't doing none of that shit. I, I seen, you know, I was watching this movie called um uh what's this Master P movie? He he did a movie, I, I forgot the name of it, but the dude uh they they went into jail, right? And the uh, and and the uh, yeah. and the one dude that was in there that was already in there, you know, hardcore guy, he uh you know, he he told the dude, he was like, yo, I got some comic books and all like that. It's all good. You can read the comic books and yada, yada, yada. And, and, and the dude, you know, he was getting into the books. And all- what's up? Man, how you doing? All right, man, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Pretty cool, huh? You don't even need to know the words. Yeah. It's like the pictures speak for themselves. <laughs> like that. That's right, bitch. All of a sudden, dude hit his head in the back and started getting him. I was like, man, right there, right there. Fuck all that. My head is on the swivel. Yo, I got some books for you to read. Nah, nah, I, I, I'm good on your books, bro. I'm gonna put my back against the wall. I'll keep my back up against the wall. Exactly. Nah, I'm, I'm good with you, bro. Uh, it's basically there's. There's basically three rules of prison. Mm-hmm. Don't get involved in dope, don't get involved in gambling, and don't get involved with punks because you're guaranteed to get hemmed up one way or another. I was sort of an enigma because I realized people couldn't figure me out mm-hmm. uh, because I I looked like I belonged to a gang, but I didn't belong to a gang, and I rode by myself. I'm like, you know, dude, I, I don't care what you do. Don't bring it in this house. Because if I don't go home the day I'm supposed to go home, me and you are going to have trouble. Mm. You know? And uh, I realized from the the get-go, there is nothing you can control outside that fence. And Mm. you can barely control what's going on. You can only control yourself inside. You know, know, the old saying, prison makes you a better person. That's not true. It makes you a different person. Who that person is is up to you. Mm. You know, whether you want to, if you want to, you know, and dive into the programs, or, you know, you just want to ride the ride and be a shitbird your your whole time, it let, you need to do the time. Don't let the time do you. What, and, you know, I did that. I took, what, was some, what was some of the amenities for you guys throughout your 10-year throughout your oh, bid? Well, I mean, they, I mean, it's not like they make it out to be. Yeah, for tennis courts, but the hell, you didn't have no tennis right. They got weights, but they didn't have good weights. I mean, you, we had organized softball, you know, and flag football and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I mean, you know, there's nothing out, you know, like laying out, you know, there's pools or golf. They, I will take that back. There was a putt putt golf course at USP Terre Haute. That was a big thing to play. That's all you had to do to play, you know. And, uh, you know, I took, you know, courses and classes and, uh, you know, I played ball. Handball, you know, you know, I was a pretty good athlete, you know, I mean, so, and, uh, you know, you just had to do your time, you know, so that, what, that's all you can do is do it. What, 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 nah, I heard through the great, but was there any women, uh, COs in, in there with you guys, or was this oh, all yeah. me? Oh, oh, there was yeah, women yeah, COs? Yeah, 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 well, when I first started, when I went to USP, you know, they give you, they test you to see where you're at, mm-hmm. uh, educational wise. Mm-hmm. And I aced all the, all the, all the tests, and they go. They offered me a job as a tutor in the GED program right away. And I'm like, cool, air condition, sit here all day, don't have to do nothing, cool, you know. And I did that, and you know, it, it's really, you know, uh, heartbreaking sometimes to see guys that can count the hell out of money, but they can't even recognize the word cat or mat. 
Damn you it, understand man. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You know, and, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking, man. And you see these guys, that, you know, they got caught with a handful. Of, it, you know, they broke them off. They were something stupid. What's, he's the one that wrote that. They is did it, that to that. Is it, is it true? Uh, now, of course, you guys uh, are, are, you know, y'all belong to the federal county of whatever the county that y'all in. Is it true that if you guys was to have sets with a CO, a female CO, they would add more time onto y'all, uh, oh, well, onto well, y'all bid? And not, and, and not to I, say that did not, you know, that did not happen, but I'm just going oh, back for what oh, I heard. Oh, it happened. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, I don't, I, I can't answer that truthfully, but I know they'll charge the CO with it. I mean, that's, you know, you know, uh, I mean, there's, yeah, you, I mean, you're going to get put away. They're going to send you to the shoe, which is the jail inside the jail. You're going to get transferred. She's going to lose her job. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, the stuff happens, but you know, uh, yeah, but time's time, man. You, you just go through it. You know, it's kind of like Groundhog Day. And you, you know, know what, though, home. and you know what, I I think that's just a sucker move on on the on the inmate part, whether female or male. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just think that's a sucker move that if you guys, you know, hook up with one another and all like yeah. that. If you I, got I, enough game to pull a CO inside prison, go for it, man. You know, <laughs> if you got that kind of game, you know, if you can talk a free woman into screwing you while you're in prison. You got some game. That's what's you up. You ain't got shit to offer her. You ain't got shit to offer her. What are you gonna do? Give her some cookies? You know? <laughs> exactly. Some Zuzu's and wham whams. You know? Some Raymond soup. I'll give you two packs of Raymond soup, baby. So the last. So fast <laughs> forward. So fast forward ten years later. Did you? Did Did you save? And did you save any money? Uh, coming out. Because I'm, uh, I'm did, well, you, did know, you get paid? And this saw how much you got paid and what, well, how much know, money I, you came out well, with? Long, uh, well, because you got to pay back the banks. Mm -hmm. And if you, I just worked ordinary kind of landscape jobs and stuff because I enjoyed being outside. But the last four years, I got in the factory and I made 40 cents an hour. And Damn. you would, ma I would make about. Stop, 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 a month. stop, 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 <laughs> hold up. Everybody, now, now, you see, here we go. Here's a man that was in prison, right, that made 40 fucking cent an hour. And you got people in the and, factory. That and, and you got people out here complaining that McDonald's is, is charging less, bro. If I see a man I like, I tell him like this here. I like you, he like you. and I want you. Now yeah, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. What you want, What's it gonna be?